Blogging is a very popular feature that many Joomla users want to incorporate into their Joomla instance. And there are many third-party components available in the community that can help you add a blog to your site. This tutorial, however, is going to show you how to create a category blog menu item type, a core Joomla feature for your blogging. Now, down below here, I've created a new category, the Art Gallery Blog. You may want to review tutorial number five to remind yourself how to create categories and articles. The menu item we're going to create is very similar to the featured articles menu item type, but this menu item, the category blog menu item, pulls from only this category. So I want to return now to my article manager where I'll show you that I've already created three additional articles for the site. I saved each of those articles into the art gallery blog category. Now you see here we have eight articles and when you start to develop a lot of articles you can scroll down to view them all or use your search tools to filter to display just the articles in specific categories. So that's what we've done here. We've displayed just the articles within the art gallery blog category. Next we're going to go create that menu item. So we'll go to menu, main menu, and add new menu item. Of course we'll create the title. We're going to call this the art gallery blog. And then we'll select the menu item type. Again, you have many different options here. We'll expand the Articles category and select Category Blog. Remember, this pulls just from that one category. So below here where it says Choose the Category, we'll want to tell Joomla which category we want to pull from. From the drop-down menu, all of our categories will be displayed and we'll select Art Gallery Blog. Of course, it's also important to select a menu for your menu item. We'll leave this one on the main menu and we'll save it. Let's go ahead and return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and we can see our new Art Gallery blog menu item. Now here are the three articles that I added, and you might notice the Read More buttons that are appearing in the second two. Now if you click on one of these Read More buttons, you'll be redirected to a page that displays the entirety of this article. I'm going to go back a page. The first article, Acclaimed Artist to Visit the Art Gallery, it doesn't have a Read More button. So let's return to the back end. I want to show you how to insert that Read More button. We'll save and close that menu item, and then we're going to go back to Content and Article Manager. Let's open up that article, Acclaimed Artist to Visit the Art Gallery. And to insert that Read More button, first put your cursor at the end of the sentence where you want that Read More button to appear and then select this button within the JCE editor. This is the Read More button. That gray box is your preview. That's the indication that you have the Read More button in the article. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll return to the front end and refresh. And now we have the Read More button in this article as well. Now the default text in the Read More button is Read More, but you can change that. You can customize that through the article options. So let's go to the options tab in this article. We're going to scroll down here, and all the way at the bottom of this list we see we have the option of Read More Text. Let's type in Continue Reading. And then we'll save our work return to the front end and refresh the page and watch that Read More button change. It says, Continue Reading, Acclaimed Artist to Visit the Art Gallery. We can also change the layout of our new category blog menu item type. Right now we have three articles in three columns, which is very similar to the featured article menu item that we created in tutorial number 10. Both of these menu items have the same layout because in tutorial 11 I showed you how to set the global blog and featured article layout using article options. Remember though, if we return to the back end we can override the global article option setting by using the menu article option setting. Let's save and close this article completely and go to our menu manager. We'll open up our main menu and then we'll open up the art gallery blog menu item. To change the layout, go to the blog layout tab and you'll see that there's nothing entered in these fields because we're using our global settings. To override them, enter the values that you'd like to see. We're going to have three intro articles in one column and we'll save our work. We'll return to the front end and refresh the page 
and we'll see now that we have all three blogs in one column, which is a little bit more like a traditional blog. A lot of users also want to re-add some of those article details like author or publish date into their blogs and we can do that by returning to the back end and clicking on the options tab. Remember right now we're using the global settings that we covered in tutorial 11. I'm going to scroll down here and I want to show my author. I want to show the publish date. I want to show the core Joomla voting feature and I'm going to scroll down and select one more. We'll also show our hits for each particular blog. Let's save our work, return to the front end, and refresh the page. And we'll see those details reappear into the articles. In the next tutorial, we'll switch gears a little bit, and I'll show you how to add a core Joomla contact form.